Yes, how are you? I realize that when Bobby Wayne announced his nationwide tour, dubbed the Freedom Tour, the MK project immediately stopped their gatherings around the country. What do I mean by this? Although their gatherings are still going on, but we no longer see Mohoz moving around. And I think it is it was by design. So in this episode, I've come to give you the reason as to why Mohoz stopped his uh, gatherings with him as the guest. Okay, what is behind this? And most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There's a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. So we all remember Mohoz started his nationwide tour, dubbed the MJ Project. In fact, he went around the country with him as the guest. And I think bells rang on the opposition side and also Robert Chagrin's sent him Bobby Wine started his freedom tour around the country. At first, these freedom tours were let free because of different reasons. I did a video talking about this and if you missed it, I'm going to leave a link here in the description. As, as soon as Bobo started his freedom tour, Mohoz halted his. And I think there are, f uh, there are like four reasons behind this. One, first of all, when Bobo started his freedom tour, when Bobo started his freedom tour, he got minimum, minimum interruption because they thought it was something casual be or something easy, not knowing that the, the, the revolution is ripe in Uganda. Truth be told, there is a, a, fra, a, a facade, a fatigue of this leadership in the country. That is the truth. And when Bob Wayne started the Freedom Tour, it uh, uh, attracted a lot of support from the youths whenever he went in any corner of the region. And the reason Mohoz halted his, uh, uh, his movement around the country, because if he continued doing the same, they will bring an election fever in the country. And, and we all know that the junta does not want that. Two, whenever you could see Bobby Wayne's tour, you realize that they didn't have a big expenditure vis-a-vis -vis Mohoz tour. Because we all know whenever Mohoz would hold a rally in a certain region, billions of money could be spent. They could use the DSOs, the PSOs, the, co the contingent commanders, the ministers, big stage, serving people food. You could see that the state injected in billions, almost like two billions per rally. Yet on Bobby Wayne's side, he only needs fuel to move around the city and people would follow him to the desired destination. So you could see that money was spent on the Mohoz project. Of course, they have the money because they, they, they run the state, so they use state money. I don't expect that Mohoz was getting money from his pocket. So money wouldn't be the problem. But also spending on something which is bringing little return on investment is also a problem. So that is why Mohoz halted his movement when Bobby Wayne announced his. Three, it is now sure that Genome 7 will be on the ballot on 2026 and nobody should lie to you. I've read, I have read. also did a video speaking about this. If you missed it, I'm going to leave a link here in the description. First of all, expect Mohoz, uh, expect Mo Seven to be on the ballot so as long as he's alive. And I think the third reason as to why Mohoz also halted his national tour is because all, Genome 7 also announced his presidential bid. And after Bobby Wayne and, uh, going around the country, it was true that Bobby Wayne was a front runner. So it was the time for Genome 7 to also come out. So the third reason is 
that uh, January 7 wanted to also be given space so that he could be seen as a presidential candidate in 2026. The fourth reason as to why Muhose halted his national aid tour is because they also wanted to use that excuse of blocking Robert Chagrin St. Amos uh, tour. Because Robert Chagrin St. Amos tour do a more collateral damage on the regime than allowing Muhose moving around. Of course, the regime doesn't have shame. They can still hold Muhose's tour as they are blocking Robert Chagrin St. Amos, but they try to play politics on this because we all know when Bob Wayne announced his national world tour, bombs started to take off, okay? Terrorism activities started taking off. They may be right, they may be wrong. So, to buttress this, the project also halted its activities, okay? I know they are still running, but without Mohozi himself. So, Mohozi halted his national world tour in a pretext of stopping Robert Chagrin St. and Bobby Wayne. If you want to stop something somewhere, it's better you first stop it yourself before you enforce it on the others. And this is how the the, the government went about this, just for, uh, to play international politics. So I think the fourth reason is Mohose stopped his national aid tour because they wanted to use it as a pretext to stop Robert Chagrin and Bobby Wayne. Of course, that's my opinion. Do drop me what you think by commenting on this video. I'll take time to read through your comments. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.